<gasps> Guys, Poppy? discover that Poppy is an alien, not even trying to hide it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. I'm Kelsey of PGK, and today we are starting a brand new era of the Not So Buried Challenge. Welcome to episode one of the Rose Generation. I'm so excited that we are on our second generation of our 10 generation challenge. So if you're new to the Not So Buried Challenge, welcome. This is a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one family which you play for 10 generations, and each generation is themed after a different color. The first one we just finished up the mint era. You can go watch all of those episodes. They are all in a playlist. This challenge was made by Little Simsy and Always Simming. And this is the requirements for generation two, which is the rose generation. You've had everything you desired as a child, but you always were longing for more. As an adult, you have a hard time committing to relationships as you're so focused on your career. If we had a workaholic trade in The Sims 4, you would have it. You have absolutely no maternal instinct whatsoever, but you still love your child with all your heart. The traits are hot-headed, snob, romantic, aspiration, serial romantic, and career is politician. The rules are you may only have one child. You must master the politician career and complete serial romantic aspiration. You have to master the charisma skill and leave someone at the altar, an interaction available during a wedding, and then get married for the first time as an elder. If you are new, please, please, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. It helps uh, you find all of my videos, which I post two times a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Also, it helps me because my dream is to someday get to a million subscribers. We're so far away, but I really believe in this dream and I hope you do too. So I think we'll get there someday. So with that being said, let's jump into the Barry family. So here is Minth and her husband, Raphael. They are both high hitting scientists, but the woman of the hour or the girl of the hour, I suppose, is Poppy Barry. Poppy, our little alien queen. She was born from Minth and an alien donor. It's kind of like an accidental pregnancy. Poppy is super loved by our human parents. And then of course we got Forrest, the littlest fairy child. Actually, no, Jade has already been born. So the youngest fairy is Jade. Poppy has three days. So I think she'll be aging up by the end of this episode, which I'm very excited about. She is, oh, she's currently playing. That's right. She was having a little water balloon fight with Guy Scott, who's her new friend. She's starting it earlier, Poppy, making some boyfriends. Mr. Mr. Now you got to kiss her. Look at her. She She's just like she mocking him, you. like you suck. Although she missed as well. So, you know, she's not perfect either. <laughs> Getting a little late and gotta get ready for school tomorrow. She's a perfect, excellent A student. Like Forrest can now read toddler books. Can you do that on your own? You're such a big boy. Can you read some? We should buy him a toddler book. This one's dog on a log looks kind of cute. Why don't you read dog on a log to yourself? That is so cute. Forrest is so advanced. I didn't even think about that. Poppy uh, finished her homework like a boss. So I'm gonna just let her go to bed. Guy is just chilling on her parents' computer. Maybe you should tell him good night. Like you should go send send Guy home. She, she sent him home from over here. Favorite series is about to come on. So I gotta get home. Thanks for spending time with me. See you later. Okay, see you later. Forrest is really hungry. Okay, Forrest, I'm so sorry. Why don't you grab a slice of pizza? No, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It is also an alien baby. I forgot to mention that. She's still really tired. So why don't you uh, bounce around the baby and then why don't you go back to sleep? I want both parents to, you know, uh, yeah. take care of baby a little bit, so. She's so tired. She worked very hard. She's the highest level of her career now. She's a very strong career woman. Even Poppy's getting a little slice of pizza. Good job, Poppy. Can you fill the bowl for, the, for our pet, please? And thank you. And then I really do need you to go to sleep, sweetie. You got school tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Baby Jade is up again. Oh, but mommy's got it. Mommy's like, I've got this. But yeah, we're not having any more kids, all right? I refuse. Not while I'm in this house. You guys can have kids later when Poppy moves out, but I don't want to deal oh. with them. <laughs> Everybody go to sleep. <gasps> Jade aged up. Oh my gosh. I didn't even realize it was Jade's birthday. We should have celebrated. <laughs> oh, well, let's pick a treat for Jade. All right, what? Oh, independent. I love an independent bean. Jade kind of looks like a little alien. Let's, oh my gosh, the sky self she is. Let's look at her in Kaz. I kind of wish that the ears from here were like on both of my babies. 
She's got red hair, which is interesting. I actually like weirdly love her alien look, even with the creepy eyes. She had this to start out with, which I, I'm gonna keep her hair curly, but I just don't love it being such a big poof. I mean, we could have like a cute little hat. <gasps> That's so kind of cute. Aww. We should do like minty colors again. Oh my gosh. And look, her eyes are green like mints. <gasps> She's a cutie. Her skin details, let's make sure to give her some little lashes. Nice and blush. Yeah, I like this one. Oh, wow, she's looking cute. All right, I just feel like Mint, Mint would, would dress her still in minty clothes. Yeah. My gosh, how cute. Because then Rose, which is Poppy, would, will dress all of her children except for the next heir in Rose. So I think it just makes sense. Oh, baby Jane, baby Jane. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't you dare investigate. Okay, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. They're trying to abduct her again. Mm -mm. Lock door for everyone. She's not allowed to get out, all right? Nope, you can't go. You can't go anywhere. You gotta just hang with your alien daughter, all right? No more aliens for Mint. No more alien babies. Let's check the toddler, make sure she's all good. And then we need to give her a little toddle bed. I feel kind of bad because he's sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry, Bobby. But we need to just have maybe two beds right here. Probably this blue, the blue and purple. That looks nice. We'll read Jade to sleep, man. Oh, Jade is so cute. Oh my gosh, sweet baby angel. Jade and Poppy are full sisters because they both have the same alien mother who impregnated Mint, who just tried to do so, which was like the investigate a weird light, but I locked the doors so she can't get out now and I don't need to worry about it. Oh, look at her little weird <laughs> alien eyes. I love it. <gasps> it's Saturday. It's also talk like a pirate day. I thought that they would go to school today, but they're not. It's a Saturday. Wow. I mean, what do we do? Because I guess we have, wait, we have a birthday, right? No, we don't have a birthday today. It's tomorrow. Maybe we should just celebrate both of their birthdays on Sunday together because I don't really want our girl to have like a Monday birthday. We'll just age her up a day early. I don't think we'll do big deals. Oh my gosh. Well, we need to try to get her that BFF. That's going to be our goal. And we'll get her that first level of social butterfly. She's not even first level. Oh my gosh. Maybe we'll try to bang it out today. Wingo oh my God. Sings, Raphael's literally singing sings, about Wingo Talk Like a Pirate Day to her. It's <laughs> cracking me up. It's going to tell him a little secret about Loch Ness monsters for Talk Like a Pirate Day. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. I think they both did it. I think they both have accomplished the talk like the pirate day. What a goof. He, he keeps singing for the pirate day and I don't even ask him to. Let's invite over Scott. Scott is probably our best option for a best friend. And maybe we'll invite over Bella too. Ooh, and Dan. This Dan Richards is kind of a cutie. We'll have her wear her like little ladybug outfit for her friends to come over. And then Raphael, I know you like always, always are vibing in your uh, little shorts, but I kind of would love to see you in your poppy red outfit for our first day of the Rose Gen. Just gotta rep your daughter here. Oh, look, it's it's uh, our little brother. Let's hug him. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what is that sound? It's Mojito using in the toilet. Let's go play some games with your friends. All right, why don't you all play together on the monkey bars and then we're gonna bond. Okay, Poppy's like chilling with her friendos. She's having a good day. Poppy's day out with her friends. Of course, she's surrounded by boys because it's Poppy and of course she Guy, where are you going? You're supposed to be my best friend. Come here, come here. She's sick, but it's like not showing up. Oh no. Okay, hold up. Mom, why don't you order some medicine for our poor girl? Here we go. And then we're gonna give it to Poppy. Poppy, you poor thing. Please take the medicine, okay? I want you to have a good day with your friends. I want you to just get to know all of these friends here. Talk about the best color. Just really, I want you to bond. Oh, Dan Richards looks so sad. She's like, my favorite color is red. It's the best color. And guy's like, whoa, okay. Make a silly face. Enthuse about interest. She's feeling great. Joke about elephants. <gasps> She's cheering him up. What a sweetheart. Oh. Bella like bailed. Bella's like inside crying. Oh no. Uh, Bella, come on over.
over and hang out with us. Although maybe Bella wants some time alone. I don't. I can't blame her for that. Why is Raphael so angry? Rage cleaning. What's going on with you, Raphael? Okay, he is stressed out. Go try to calm down. I don't want any emotional deaths here today, okay? Don't leave. Don't leave. I want you to become my best friend. We'll keep just talking to Guy. Share them secrets. I don't love his name. Guy Scott is just... <gasps> Poppy is doling out the sass and feels invincible. Would it be safe to say that she likes comedy? Yes, I love that for Poppy. Okay, Raphael's fine now. He's like vibing. Now that he's on the piano, he's chill. Oh, mother son bonding. So cute, Forrest. Oh, Poppy is very playful. She's vibing. <gasps> Guys discovered that Poppy is an alien, not even trying to hide it. Oh my gosh, she discovered that. Let's take a photo of Sky. Supposedly that'll make their relationship pop up pretty fast. Oh, this is so cute. I could honestly maybe someday ship it. I could maybe someday ship it. It would be so sad though if he's the one of whose heart she breaks. <laughs> She's the one he dumps at the altar. That or she ends up with someone else and maybe he's one of the reasons why she dumps him at the altar. I don't, I'm, wait, they are so, that is such a good hack. They are so close friends now. That happened so quick. Become best friends forever, yes! Oh, now they're BFFs, yay! Make a BFF! Yes! We only got to do one of the social butterfly of, oh, of three though. We'll see if we can get it done before her birthday. I love that Raphael is in a face mask, ready to just throw water balloons at his wife. <laughs> He got her. Oh my God, this is too funny. Oh my gosh, now it's her turn. She's like, I'm gonna try to hit you. <gasps> she nailed him right in the head. Oh my gosh, this is uh, so cute. They're such cuties, I can't. We made a BFF today, which I'm super happy about. And we'll try to become best friends with three other kids. And then she needs to become best friends with two adults. Oh my gosh, Jade is dreaming about death. This kid is. Nuts. Oh, good mom vibes. Now she's gonna tuck in little Jade who took herself to bed. And then uh, why don't we have you go to sleep as well? Maybe we'll invite over three more kids tomorrow and like some adults and try to have her become friends with everybody before she ages up. You know, I feel like Mints should make a cake. I can't believe that it's time to age like the kids up again. Oh my gosh, Mint, what is going on? She's just giggling to herself as she breaks out on rashes. It's not a good look while you're cooking. Apparently the colds are going around right now, but she's gonna bake this lovely birthday cake for Forrest and Poppy's birthday. Poppy is doing pretty good. Oh my gosh, are you itchy? What is going on? I just fixed your cold. Dry skin, face needs some moisture. Oh my goodness, all right. Okay, why don't you call some friends to hang out at the house? This might be hard, because it's like Paka would be a good like adult friend to me. You just have to become friends with them. You don't have to become best friends with them. Mm. Need to put candles on this cake so that nobody eats it. There we go. All right, fabulous. And then why don't you do like a little workout today? Do like a little dance video. I know you like working out. It'll make you happy. There she goes. Put her in a good mood. Okay, is Hazel coming over? Or did you not invite her over? She will be right over. Fantastic. Go hang out with uh, with Hazel, Auntie Hazel. And I, then I want you to take a photo with Hazel. Oh, they had a little hug. Auntie Hazel, who hates kids. Okay, take a photo of Hazel. I think that'll still work. Oh, go off. Oh, Hazel's like, yeah, you want to pose? I'll give you a pose. Did that help? Are we friends yet? We are friends. <gasps> Look, we're already one of two. Okay, this is great. Wait, I was going to invite over Paka. Where's Paka? Is Paka already here? Wait, isn't that Paka? Where, what happened? Didn't Paka just run by you? Oh my gosh. Oh, go run after Paka, please. Paka went the other way, girl. Why are you running this way? Dibs, why you gotta be like this? Oh my gosh, where is Paka? Wait, there he is. Oh my gosh. Call him over. Hey, Paka, why are you making my daughter have to run around, dude? Oh my gosh, she's walking right by Poppy, who's been running around trying to find him all day. No, Paka! Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? You know what, Paka, you're kind of dead to me now. It feels weird to invite like these people because we don't even know them. Tinley Hoover looks cute though. Let's, you know what? Let's invite Dan Richards over. We'll just start with the kids. All we gotta do is invite Dan over, exchange names with Dan, 
And then why don't you take some photos with Dan? Oh my gosh, she needs to pee. Okay, never mind. Go pee, girl. All right, let's take a photo together. Oh, this is cute. I mean, I could ship this to a TBH. Pew, 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 Okay, we're like kind of friends. So here's the thing. We could become fr better friends with everybody before she ages up, but I think we really need to start this birthday party. We will just uh, plan a social event. Maybe she can become friends with everybody during the birthday party. I don't know. All right, let's have a birthday party. Let's celebrate this birthday. Ooh, looks like some people are arriving already and she wants to become friends with them. Oh my, uh, Renee is very angry for some reason. Joke about nacho cheese. Oh, what a rush. Craig is feeling amazing. <laughs> Cause he likes to work out. That he must be on the lawn somewhere. Oh my gosh, he looks like an elder already. Oh, Craig and Chelsea, I'm glad that you're still living your life, loving each other. Let's take a photo of Eliza Pancakes. Hopefully we'll become friends with her. What a pose, Eliza. Okay, okay, go off. All right, let's switch it up. Okay, that one's nice too. I love this background. You know what? Maybe our Poppy is gonna be kind of into photography. Who knows? Or maybe this is just a phase because she wants more friends. Party done with the, with the adults. We just need two more children to become our friends. Who's this child? Sage Fang. Let's become friends with Sage. Go, Poppy, go! Go become friends! Go, Poppy! Let's go. Perfect. Talk about favorite animal and then take a photo with Sage who is wearing a nice little Louis Vuitton face mask today. You wanna take a photo together? It's my new favorite thing when I meet someone. Oh my gosh, uh, their eyes look very bloodshot. Why is this girl walking away? Make a silly face. Please don't walk away from me, all right? Let's let's become friends. Won't leave me. I'm, I'm, I'm needing to make friends. Oh my gosh, we almost got run over by Craig. Our little boy said, by the way, you looked nice today. Does he have a little crush on our little Poppy? She's already a heartbreaker. Sage, how are we not friends, okay? I don't understand. No, wait, we are. We are, boom, baby. Okay, that's one down. Okay, who's this? Melina Fang, are you sisters? They might be, they also might not be. I'm gonna invite over to hang out at the lot, Bella and Guy, because Guy, it's because our birthday. Some bloodshot eyes there too. Are all this, these Sims visiting us really tired? Yes, we did it. Social butterfly has been done. She is officially a social butterfly and she's gonna be socially gifted, which means that we can finally have our birthday. Oh my gosh, okay. Happy birthday, little forest. I hope you have a fantastic day. I can't wait to see you age up, you little sweet bean. This is literally such a mess. Oh, yeah. Okay, so her next one is going to be serial romantic aspiration. So she's going to be a little heartbreaker. Is this your look? Poppy, what is this look? I I do not like any of it. We're gonna have to give her a makeover, but it's time. Okay, there we go. Now I finally get to see you, Forrest, age up. Okay, here we go. Forrest is aged up. He is also hot-headed. Oh my goodness. And he is a social butterfly. Here's Poppy, looking pretty cute, but you know, questionable outfit choices. And then here's little Forrest, looks just like his dad still. Let's start with Forrest's outfit. So I think his hair is fine. His outfit, it looks like he's kind of into randomized Sims outfits. He's supposed to be like a soft boy. That's what I imagine him being. Although he's like apparently hot headed. So he's not really as much of a soft boy as I was anticipating. Ooh, maybe like that. That's cute. All right, denim with denim. It's a look, it's a style, it's a choice. All right, he looks great. All right, so there is uh, Forest Berry and this is Poppy. I hate whatever this is that they chose for her. Absolutely not for me at all. I wanna say that she's kind of preppy. You know, she's like a little bit of a preppy girl because that's what she is. She's a little more preppy than the others. Actually, this one gives me the most teen vibes. Oh, she's so cute, but she's so strong. Look at her. She's ripped. Oh my gosh. Go girl. Okay, go off. She's supposed to be newly 13. She looks nothing like a, a newly 13 year old TBH. <gasps> Okay, this one's actually my favorite. We'll give her just some flats. I think that's kind of cute. She's just really rocking this red look and I, I'm so here for her. Yay, oh my gosh. Teenage Poppy is adorable. I'm obsessed. I love her so much. She is 
so cute. So I'm gonna do like maybe a more extensive room makeover in the next one. But I think for now, we'll just kind of do like a lofted bed for a forest. Oh, this one's kind of good. This one might be cute. Yes, okay, fabulous. And then Poppy, we'll, we'll give you more like teen room makeover in the next one as well. Gosh, the family's getting so much older, which, but this also means that we can start our serial romantic aspiration, which is fantastic. I am very excited for all of the mischief we're gonna get up to with that one. She's getting so big so fast. Oh my gosh, I love Poppy. I'm so happy, she's such a babe. Ah, Mint has like 15 more days until she's an elder. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize. Oh my gosh, Mint. Wait, 15 days. Okay, so right when Poppy becomes like a, a young adult, she's probably gonna have to have a kid. So that way Mint can be like a big part of aging up. So Poppy's gonna have a kid pretty young. I feel like that is fine because I feel like with Poppy, I think that she wouldn't, number one, wouldn't mind having a kid really young. She's kind of used to having little kids around and there's Jade and she's really responsible. I also think, you know, She's a serial romantic. She might get up to a little bit more mischief and maybe that's why she feels like she has to get married is because she becomes pregnant and she's like, oh, I need to get married. Even though Mint is pregnant outside of marriage as well. So I feel like she's not from a traditional family, but I feel like she kind of likes to go by the rules. I try to like plan it out. Like maybe this is how the story will go. You guys let me know your ideas in the comments below and we'll have to brainstorm and uh, figure it out soon. But I'm gonna leave this one here. We'll do the room makeovers in the next one and then we'll start getting Poppy to start going on some teenage dates. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.